Mm-hmm. You hear that music in the background? Huh? It's that thug music right there. Yeah. That's that thug music. Really? No. Because, see, there is no such thing as a thug. Okay? I'm going to tell you the truth. There's no such thing. It's a, it's a, it's a myth. Thug, it's a myth. Okay, there are black men, and there are, and then you have idiots. Okay, if you want to call them thugs, that's fine with me. But I call them idiots. I, I, I call them assholes. If you want me to say that, and I'm also frustrated. I'm sorry, let me turn this off. Okay, because I'm a little frustrated myself. See, I'm, I'm, I'm in college. Okay, I'm young. I read. I read. Okay, look. This is the book I'm reading now. Can you can you see that? An Anatomy of a Thought. This is for fun. I do this for fun. Okay, I read for fun. So I'm I'm frustrated because a lot of women in my area, okay, they go they they some women are just simply gorgeous. Just oh my, just like drop dead gorgeous. But they go for the thug. And it's a, it's a shame. It's sad. You know, I, I can't say anything else but that. You know what I'm saying? I It breaks my heart, you know? And my sister, she's at that age where she wants a thug, okay? Really? Look in the camera. Really? For, for what? It made no damn sense. What, you, what is he going to do for you? Hmm? Unemployed. The dude is uneducated. I mean, he's in, dude, 17, but, I mean, he's in, like, the 10th grade. I mean, sad. Like, it really makes me sad, you know what I'm saying? Um, makes the rest of us look, it, it puts, the way that some of these guys act, 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 okay? It puts a stereotype on all black men. You know, in the eyes of a white man, I could be sitting next to a uh, thug, and he would not be able to tell the difference. He would not be able to tell my 3.85 GPA from his uh, um, um, uneducated uh, brain, you know. And um, when you're going for a job interview, you know what I'm saying, you have to really, as a black man, you really have to watch what you say, how you say it, how you come off, how you dress, how you act, even how you do this hand thing, you know what I'm saying, because you could... Accidentally do that, and you are, and you're a thug. Yo, know, you you just did something that thugs do. I don't know. I might be rambling. I might not be making any sense, but it's because I'm very frustrated right now. I'm I don't really know how to how to gather my thoughts right now on this uh, on this topic. You know, because it really is frustrating. You know, um, I see all these girls out here. You know, just with these no good... I'm not even going to say no good. No good for them. Because they match... The, the thugs match up with some females out there. You know what I'm saying? Just not the one that I'm seeing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of my friends, a lot of my female friends, you know, they're, they're attracted to the uh, thug type, you know? Now, I'm, I'm going to let y'all in on a little secret. I played college ball for a year, okay, and I have seen some things. I'm not going to say what school I played for because I get in trouble. But um, I will tell you this. I have seen some things. I've heard some things. Um, it, the school I went to, you know, is a very well-known school. Um, I transferred out of that school because of the fact that you know, playing basketball, you really don't get a sense of, you really can't learn in that kind of environment. So, for myself, I knew that the NBA wasn't a very high prospect. So, if I'm in college, which I am now, but at that school, I want to be able to actually learn and progress and progress from uh, college, you know what I'm saying? If I continued to play ball all four years, I would have left with a degree, but my head would have been just down. Just, I'm talking, just not working at all. Period. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I left, I left the school, and I'm at a community school now, but trust me, 
I'm, I'm working up from that. But um, anyway, one day after a game, I had, you know, my gear on, my school name on my chest, you know what I'm saying? And uh, this, this dude and this girl, okay, were arguing back and forth in front of a CVS. And they're just going at it. He's yelling, she's yelling, he's yelling, she's yelling. And I'm standing there with my bag, and the dude looks at me, he's like, what the hell are you looking at? So, I I took my head down and kept and kept it moving. You know what I'm saying? So, I went at the bus stop, you know what I'm saying, to, uh, you know, get to where I gotta go. When all of a sudden, y'all, I would never lie about this. This is serious. This dude literally punched this girl in the face about, I would probably say, four or five times, okay? The girl, the girl's face was just bloody and, and, and just, yeah, I think you know the picture. You can get that in your head. You know, if a dude hits, hits a girl that many times, what her face might look like. Excuse me for one second. I drink tea also. Because that's what thugs do. Um, you know, the next day, uh, oh, next day, probably two days, three days go past, I see the same dude with the same girl. Of course, right? Face still messed up. I think she had a black eye. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure she couldn't eat solid food. You know, I think she ate through. I think she ate applesauce and baby food for like a good two weeks. Easy, easy. You know. Um, but I guess that's just the kind of guys that uh, the kind of guys that some girls want. You know, and um, it makes it hard for us good guys. You know, the ones that are in school. Have a job. I am em I am employed. Yeah, I, I yeah I do work. Okay, I do work. Now back to how we look in others' eyes of the opposite race. Um, I work in a predominantly white white mall. You know what I'm saying? And um, I get the effects of that every day. You know what I'm saying? The white people scoff at me like I don't. I'm not supposed to be there. Like I'm not supposed to. Walk the same mall as them. That's fine. I could care less what they think. I'm looking at the webcam. All of you out there that think that, keep thinking that. Keep coming to that mall. Please do, because you're paying for my tuition. Thank you. You're, you're paying me to get to school. You're paying me to become your boss one day. Take that. Yeah. Take that. That was a that was, that was a thug move, I'm sorry, I do apologize. But it, it, I'm just frustrated. Just frustrated, you know, I'm kind of fed up, you know. Um, I just wish, I honestly wish that these men and women of both, of all races would just come together and, and, and realize that, you know, some of the things that we're doing out there is just, it can't, it, it, it can't fly, man. It just, it just can't fly, you know. So, um, that's my story. It might have made sense. It might have not made sense. That's just how, this is just where I'm coming from, you know what I'm saying? This is just my frustration of, you know, how these idiots are out, you know, out here running around doing this, doing that, you know, and it makes, makes it hard on, you know, us good guys just to say hello, you know what I'm saying? Just to say, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? My name's Sean. What's your name? Can I take you out to eat? Can we get to know each other? You know? It makes it, it, makes it hard for me to say that. Uh, that's, that's, that's what I say. I, how you... Because you want to... Or maybe because... No. That, that won't even come out, you know, at time. You know what I'm saying? Because when I'm, when I'm talking, guess who they're looking at? Mr. Uh, fake Chain, uh, Saggy Pants, uh, you know, big t-shirt, rhinestones on the t-shirt, th that's gay. Okay, I'm sorry to say it. If you have rhinestones on your shirt, and you're not a Michael Jackson, rest in peace, or a female, that's, that's a little feminine. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm, I'm sorry to say it. Don't get me wrong, okay? Because if someone stepped to me, I'm straight smacking you, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm speaking as a man right now, because I've had some incidents where 